perfect day for Zoe too. Is that good? Uh huh. Good morning team and welcome to the video. So today, today we're gonna be having an extremely fun, enjoyable cheat day. So I'm gonna be eating basically everything in sight. So we did make a couple pit stops this morning. So if you guys have been following the channel and you saw when I tried to go to McDonald's the other day, but they did not serve breakfast, I got there at like, I think it was like 10.40 or something or 10.35 and they stopped serving breakfast at 10.30. I looked up on the internet, it said that they stopped serving breakfast at 11, but that did not work out for me. So, I went to redeem myself. I got myself a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. And also, we did go get some donuts. We went to a place called The Farmhouse, and they have really amazing, delicious apple fritters. And then we also got some donuts where you can customize the donuts to whatever you want. So here's what I got. We got three of those donuts. And also we got an OJ. And also we have a, comment down below what this drink order is. So all right, without further ado, let's just begin. I'm excited. I want this McGriddle in my stomach so bad right now because it is so good all right guys here we have it the legendary mcgriddle we got sausage egg and cheese sandwiched between two delicious little pancake things here here we go my friends cheers oh my god this is hands down the best breakfast sandwich in the entire world you can't top this. Bro, it's literally everything that you could ask for. It's sweet, it's savory, and it literally just hits the spot. Damn. Oh yeah. Bro, that is heavenly. Ah. All right, next up, we're gonna dive into some donuts. So these are yeasted donuts, by the way, which are my absolute favorite. Not much of a cake donut fan, but check this one out. So this is called the Buttercup. So it is peanut butter, powder sugar, and chocolate drizzled. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, oh yeah. See, you gotta have coffee with the donuts. So I had to go to Mickey D's and get the McGriddle, but also I needed OJ with the McGriddle and I had to go to Dunkin' because you just have to have coffee with your donuts. All right, so next up, this donut is called the Mud Hole. So it is brownie batter with a gummy worm inside. Here we go. Oh, bro, that just brought me back to when I was a kid. You know when your mom's making the brownies and then she lets you take the bowl and you just eat the brownie batter? Oh yeah. All right, and the next donut, this one is called Betty Lou. So it does have Bavarian cream, we have chocolate, and we have whipped cream. Here we go. Oh, Bavarian cream is so delicious. Mm, bro, this tastes just like a chocolate eclair, but like a, a donut eclair, or a Boston cream, which Boston cream's a fire. Damn, life is good.
Ah. Alrighty, and moving on to the grand finale, the apple fritter. I don't know about you guys, but I love apple fritters. Just the cinnamoniness, the sweetness, and just like the texture, it's like chewy, but it's also like has a little crunch to it. It's just so good, here we go. Mmm, can you hear that? Oh yeah. Oh damn, that's amazing. That is the start of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me eat those donuts as much as I enjoyed eating them. I know a lot of you guys get satisfaction and pleasure by watching me eat donuts, but I really do enjoy these and I am glad that you guys enjoy watching me eat these because it's just a win-win. <laughs> at home. All right, watch how excited she gets. Hey, your mama. Hey, the my girl, yo. Hey, the my girl, yo, yo. Hi, hi, hi. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> huh? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> my girl. That's my girl, yo. Team, we are back and we ended up getting some barbecue. Now I am really, really hungry, so I ended up going to the gym. I went to Crunch and just did like some accessory work. Nothing crazy, I had a real good donut pump going on. And now I worked up an appetite. So we got the sampler pack from, or sampler from Sunny's Barbecue. So we did get a quarter chicken, we have pulled pork, we have brisket. We have ribs, cornbread, barbecue baked beans, and also green beans. And Takis, which I really wanted, and a Coca-Cola, because Coca-Cola is delicious. I was searching for the Coke in the bottle, but did not find it at the store. Coke in the can, second best. So without further ado, let's just begin. We do have some sizzling sweet barbecue sauce that we're gonna use. Pour that right on the chicken. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had some barbecue. I'm just gonna full send, savagely eat this like a barbarian <laughs> or caveman, whatever you want to call it. Here we go. Oh yeah, nice smoky flavor. Chicken is done. I think next up, should I should I dive into the sides? Yeah, let me dive into the sides first. So here we do have some green beans. I really do enjoy green beans. Pretty tasty, especially when they're nice and salty. And I wanted to get in some veggies for the day. <laughs>
All right, green beans are down. Now, I wanna dive into, should I go ribs, brisket, or pulled pork? I think I'm gonna go for the ribs now. Of course, you know, we gotta load them up with some barbecue sauce. Here we go. So these are the house dry rub ribs. Let's give them a go. Oh man, talk about fall off the bone. Yeah, that's delicious. That's way better than the chicken. So much more flavor. One more rib to go. Oh yeah, and now the best part of the meal right here. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Ooh, feel the burn, baby. That is so good. Next up, we are going to dive into some of the brisket. Wish you guys could kind of see the platter, you know? Wish I could have it like propped up so you guys can see it as I, I'll try to hold it. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna dive into the brisket. Oh yeah. That is fatty and full of flavor, damn. Damn, it's hard to say. I don't know if I like the ribs or the brisket more. That's super tasty. Now let's dive into some of these baked beans. I don't know about you guys, but I love baked beans. Like nice and sweet, barbecue-y, obviously. <laughs> Next up, the last meat on the platter. We have some pulled pork. It's actually not that much here compared to how much brisket they gave me. This is it. It's like one big bite. But you know what? I'm just gonna do one. All right, this is all of the pulled pork. Here we go. Yeah, pulled pork wasn't my favorite. So if I did have to rate, all the meats. I would say the ribs would be number one, the brisket number two, the chicken number three, and then the pork number four. But that's just me. All right, and now last but not least, we do have cornbread here. I don't know what you guys, but I love me some cornbread. Mm. That's some good cornbread. It has little chunks of corn in there. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Ah. All right, now, ugh. we don't have some Takis because I love Taki. And for you guys that know me, you know I love spice. So we are gonna enjoy some spicy, delicious, Mm, my mouth is watering already. <laughs> These are so good. Mm. Bro, these are amazing. So they're basically like Frito, for those that never had them, they're like a Frito, but wrapped in like a spicy, lime jalapeno type sauce. It's so good. They have fuego. Muy fuego. Muy delicioso. 
Qué rico. Buenísimo. Me encantó. Me gustó. Mi favorito. Estoy muy feliz. <risa> Alrighty guys, and we do have a package from a subscriber. Whoa! So we got some candy here. The Coffee Crisp Wonder Bar. This is Eat More. Dark Toffee Peanut Chew. And then we have a card and then something in here. I want to read the card first. Hey Nick, of all people I know, I thought you would appreciate this the most. There's one for Laura too. Enjoy. Shannon. Thank you so much, Shannon. I really appreciate it. Also, there is something else here. There's two things in here, so I wonder if one's for Laura. Yeah, most likely. This is what she was talking about. <laughs> Let's check it out. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Check it out, guys. Look how massive these forks are. <laughs> This is amazing. So now we get two new forks that I can take some massive Team Big Bites with. Very awesome. Thank you again so much, Shannon. And yeah, I really want to try out this Eat More Toffee Peanut Chew. Because I love toffee and like nougat, like, you know, the stuff that's in the Snickers. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Bro, this is amazing. So basically, it's exactly what it says. It's toffee and peanuts together, and it's chewy. It almost tastes like a Snickers. Bro, it's really good. Well, thank you so much, Shannon, for sending this stuff all the way from Canada. I really do appreciate it. That is awesome. And if you guys want to send me stuff, you guys can send it to the address in the description box down below. It's been a little while since I've accepted packages from subscribers. You know, I was doing that a lot, you know, a couple years ago. But then after COVID hit, I kind of stopped doing that. But I will leave the address in the description box. You can send it to my gym and I will open them in the videos. And once again, thank you guys so much for the love and the support. And once again, thank you, Shannon, for this candy and these new massive forks. So thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Alrighty folks, we are back and we got some Taco Bell. Now I really wanted some Mexican food, like I wanted something spicy. You know, after having those Takis, I was like, man, I don't want some like spicy food. So we went to Taco Bell, we got two Doritos Locos Tacos Supremes and then two soft taco Supremes as well. So again, like that last meal had a lot of protein. So I was like kind of full for a while and I was like this meal, I don't need too much protein. There's not a crazy amount of beef in these, but I'll slam these down and then we get the, the grand finale coming up. So you know, we got to get the fire sauce. So fire sauce is fire from Taco Bell. All right, here's the first taco, soft taco. We'll, we'll bang through these real quick. Mm, so good. All right, and taco numero dos. All right, and now time for the Doritos Locos Taco. The whole reason why I went to Taco Bell. Yeah, I like, I like these because they're kind of like a little spicy shell, and you add the fire sauce, boom. Bro, imagine if they made a Takis taco. Bro, that would be absolutely crazy. 
They gotta do it. Taco number three down. And the last and final, Doritos Locos Taco Supreme. Oh yeah, here we go. Bro, these are pretty damn good. I don't care. I know it's Taco Bell, but it's still pretty good. All right, and now time for the grand finale. We got some Buckeye brownies here. Ah, check that out. Here we do have limited edition dessert pack. Okay, so we have Birthday Bash, New York Cheesecake, Ted Central Station, and Heavenly Heath. So, I believe this is the Birthday Bash one. Brownie base, where's the other brownie base? Brownie base here. This is the Heavenly Heath. You know me, I go straight for the blondies. So, first off, we're gonna go for the Ted Central Station. Blondie base laid with golden Oreo cookies, topped with our homemade cinnamon swirl cookie dough, infused with caramel bits, all topped with Teddy Grahams, white chocolate chips, and a dash of cinnamon sugar. Damn, that's right up my alley. I love cinnamon, I love sugar. Here we go. Mm. So these combinations that they come up with, absolutely amazing. Look at that. Wow. Mmm. All right, one more little bite. Bro. I'm already calling it. That one's gonna be my favorite one. Ugh. Man, to tell you the truth, I don't even want to eat these other ones. I just want to eat the rest of that one. <laughs> it's so damn good, but. I gotta try out the rest. All right, this next one. This one is called New York Cheesecake. Blondie base laid with tons of Teddy Grahams topped with our homemade cheesecake inspired cookie dough, all topped with our graham cracker crumb and a cream cheese frosting drizzle, bro. All right, here we go. Mm. Bro, I love when it's like, kind of has like the undercooked texture and it's like super soft. That's how this one is right here. Bro, that is delicious. Yeah, I love that like gooey, undercooked kind of like consistency. Ugh. All right, two blondies left, two blondies left. I wish we had two blondies left. Two brownies left. Both are brownie based. Again, I'm not a huge brownie fan. I like the blondies more. I'll have one bite of each. All right, I'll give you guys my honest opinion. <laughs> I know you guys are waiting there. Come on, is he gonna eat it? Is he gonna eat it? All right, this one here. This one is Heavenly Heath. So it's a brownie base laid with toffee themed Oreos topped with our crushed Heath infused cookie dough all topped with more crushed Heath and a snack size Heath bar. All right, Heath, let's see what you got. It's cool. It doesn't pop like the Blondies pop for me, but it's still pretty good. Uh, all right. And last but not least, we do have the Birthday Bash. So this one here, Brownie base laid with birthday cake Oreos, topped with our homemade Funfetti cake cookie dough, infused with sprinkles, all topped with white chocolate chips, sprinkles, and another birthday cake Oreos. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, I like this one better than the Heath one, because this one's more like birthday cake, so it's more like I guess blondie flavor-ish and not like super chocolatey. This one's pretty good. Uh, well, all right guys, that was the limited edition 
Dessert Pack by Buckeye Brownies. If you guys did want to check them out, you can use code Team Big Bites. That will save you 10%. Link is in the description box down below. And uh, yeah, definitely give them a try. I love the blondies. Those are my absolute favorite. And again, I'm not a huge, huge chocolate person. The birthday bash was pretty good. The Heath one I didn't really care for. And then overall, I'd have to say, damn, it's a tough choice between the Ted Central and the New York Cheesecake, because both of those were really good. So they're in a tie for first, and then these are in a tie for fourth place, I would say. <laughs> but yeah, that was it. Be sure to check them out, and most importantly, enjoy. Well, alrighty guys, it's been a super fun, enjoyable, delicious day. And every day I start my day with greens and reds. On the cheat day, I do have them twice because I have them in the morning and then I'll have them at night. As you guys saw, I ate a lot of food and it's not the most healthiest food for me, but I like to enjoy myself. I train and I work hard in the gym and I love food. So um, greens and reds, they are amazing for immune health gut health, digestion, um, they have probiotics, they have digestive enzymes, antioxidants, and they are amazing. And they taste good. But yeah, that was another fun cheat day. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And another big thank you to Shannon for sending me over that package. And again, if you guys wanna send me a package to open up, I can do that. Um, again, the information is in the description box down below and yeah that's gonna be today's video if you're new to the channel please subscribe and um, comment down below let me know what you guys liked about the video what you want to see more of and I'll see you guys in the next video